Hi everyone, my name is Ben. I am a software engineer at Raytheon VBN Technologies and a developer on the Landsar effort. Landsar is a search and rescue planning tool. Um, it has two primary functions. First, um, it models lost person movement over time, taking into account a variety of factors, including the time last seen, as well as area data like ocean currents, elevation data, and land cover data as well as other factors. Uh, second, um, Landsar makes search, search recommendations. Landsar is based on the Optimal Search Planner for Personnel Recovery Execution, or Osprey, a Windows-based desktop tool originally developed by Metron for the Joint Personnel Recovery Agency, or JPRA. Um, Landsar, in its current form, as a client-server application has seen multiple successful deployments and has attracted considerable interest. A key advantage of Landsar is its flexibility. Users can build their own motion model plugins and motion models run on the Roger framework, which is an application level plugin framework developed by Raytheon BBN Technologies for AFRL. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating um, how you build uh, motion model plugins. So to get started, let's take a look at the motion model demo um, project right here. Um, and in particular, the class my plugin, which implements Landsar motion model plugin, itself an interface that extends the motion model plugin interface. Um, as I mentioned previously, my plugin as a motion model plugin runs within uh, a Roger deployment, which itself is uh, a Landsar deployment. So let's take a look at some of the key methods here. Over here, we have two methods that are very closely related to each other, get motion model parameters and get motion model geospatial descriptions. These methods um, allow the motion model plugin to inform the Landsar deployment uh, regarding what uh, parameters it needs at runtime. We distinguish between motion model parameters, which are text or numeric values, and geospatial parameters, which are values drawn from the map. A motion model parameter, for example, might be the direction that a lost person is expected to go in whereas a geospatial parameter might be a waypoint that someone uh, draws on the map. Here we have validate motion model parameters, a method that is invoked and uh, by the, the deployment and gives the motion model plugin the opportunity to determine whether the arguments passed in um, are valid. Here we have the method generate initial distribution if the parameters are valid, then the motion model plugin will be expected to produce a sequence of probability distributions indicating where the lost person is most likely to be located at a given time. Beneath that, we have calculate probability of success. This method um, calculates the probability that the lost person will be found across all searches computed so far. And then we have two other methods which are related to each other, uh, cancel search and update probability distribution for search. When a new search recommendation is created, um, update probability distribution for search will be called and it will give uh, the plugin an opportunity to update uh, its probability distributions, assuming that the search took place. If in fact the search didn't take place, then cancel search will be invoked and the plugin will have an opportunity to update its probability distributions with that in mind. There are other methods here, of course, but I think that the ones I've highlighted are probably the most important for the developer. Once you have implemented these methods to your liking, then you can follow the quick start guide, which accompanies this project to build um, test and ultimately deploy your tool, your plugin.
And with that, I would like to take the opportunity to share with you what the uh, Landsar deployment looks like. So here we have um, a Landsar client web client. I'm going to specify new lost person information, except the defaults here. Draw a bounding box indicating where the lost person is going to likely be. And now I'm going to indicate um, what I believe their last known position to be. I have a couple of options here. I'm going to go with a circle. And finally, I'm presented with a list of motion model plugins, or motion models rather. The first four items here are motion models that come uh, by default with any Landsar deployment. The fifth item here is actually a motion model plugin. So when you create your own motion model plugins, they will be displayed in this list as well. And selecting them in this list and pressing continue will allow you to fill in motion model specific parameters. Should you have any questions about how to develop a motion model plugin, please feel free to reach out. Um, our development team will be available to answer questions. Thank you and happy coding.